Yeah, I'd have been a bike. You don't? I don't have anything with it. Well, some kids. Oh yeah, baby! Oh! oh no, my We're out here at Echo Lake again, uh, episode two, DG Fishing. I'm starting with Texas Rig with a split shot about a foot above the hook. Texas Rig right there. What are you yeah. starting with? I'm going with the Wacky Rig, Bass Pro Sticko. We're at the first spot of the day. Let's get you fish. Right now I'm casting right over here, hoping there's some bass over there. This is a nice shallow spot for all the females to lay their eggs. Yeah, it's pretty shallow. I don't know if y'all can see it, but you can you can see the bottom here. Probably six to eight inches. There's a lot of bait stuck down there. Let me see that. Here. A lot of times there's a lot of bass in here, especially later in spring, you'll start noticing a lot. You can cast right in that tunnel. Yeah, this spot does look really good. In late spring and early summer, this is probably the best spot on the lake. Okay. I haven't caught any this season of winter over here yet. Yeah. Hope we change that today. <laughs> it's just that. Uh -huh. Can you give us a push? Yeah. Here we go. So, got under the bridge, looking for bass in this area again. We might come back here. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Every time we're here, we toss a lure right in that tree. And we have to take the boat in here. As you can see, it's a tight fit. Yeah. I don't know if you can see in there. Looks like that might be a bass. Ah, uh, no, it's not. <coughs> I'm gonna move down a little bit. I'll let you get this area.
I hate about this rod. It's a 6.9. I really can't get it in tight spaces. Not sure why I'm using it right now. Should be using the 6.6. Six. Alright, we went down the creek a little bit. The bass definitely got spooked from those geese. They hopped in the water. But there were no bass in between us and the geese. So if there are bass, they moved up here. So we can catch them. Bass are pretty stupid like that when they're spooked. No matter how dangerous it is, they'll move 15 feet and just forget. That's what helps on a boat. If you're on a boat, a lot of times they'll spook bass. So sometimes if you fan cast, just casting all around you, then you can catch a lot of bass that you spooked. We're at our next spot. Changing over to the wacky rig. I think that's done the best over here. here another spot look it looks pretty good out here Fish over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Might have been a bite. You got this? I don't have anything, but I'll have some too. Oh! Oh, yeah, baby! Oh, yeah! That's a pretty good oh, one! No way. Hit it in Let's go! It's gonna come off. Yes, sir, baby. Oh, okay. Okay. I saw you. I thought I like that too. I got you wrong. Right. Hooked him. This is like the weirdest one because it, it, ah, come on, he's gonna hook me. Dang. Oh yeah. Oh, on the yeah. crankbait. Yes, sir. <laughs> it was right on the tip of the boat. I didn't even think I had a bite. What? Uh. It's a pretty good one, man. Yeah, that buddy. Bad. Ah, there we go. There we go. All yes, right. sir. First best of the day. Made there up for tomorrow. I know. It's not as big, but it feels good. Yeah. So. It's a, awesome. That's a decent size. That's a pretty yeah. good one. Yeah, you can see all the red oh, yeah. stuff. Forget how that happens, but it's just part of spawning. So, all right, let's release them. Yeah. I'm gonna stick the GoPro under the water for you guys. Let's see. Actually, do you wanna we'll release them here? Oh. Uh, yeah. Alright. I'll hold them. Here until you're ready. Alright, stick it underwater. Right next to him. Alright, yes, so nice little guy. Yeah. Alright, stick it under. Oh, 
a good one there. Yeah, that last one, like, he was literally... He picked it up the, right there. The crankbait was right there, except maybe a foot under. Or it was a little closer. So I had to pull him out here, and then to pull him over. So... I was a pretty was decent, like pretty decent size bass. Yeah. You can tell they were eating meat. A lot of meat. So when they're eating more of their pond weed and vegetable stuff, it brings out more color. But that one was just really light white. Yeah. Um, this is like a, probably the weirdest. Uh, part of the year because half the bass are like just eating at the bottom and very rarely kind of starving themselves yeah and others are laying eggs yeah so it's really hard to tell if they're spawning or not but it's a good time to eat. yeah if it's in winter you have to use slow uh, retreating baits and this one is kind of a fast action and it's working so the bass are we weren't recording like he was just casting right in there just off this little spillway and catches this little bluegill see if I can lift them <laughs> Oh, sir, look at that fish, man. That's a beautiful fish right there. Uh, here, take a picture right. with my phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna turn the... All right, we're down here. Our boat's up there. A little spillway right here. So we're gonna fish around here for a little bit. Back here, the log. Hopefully, we can connect, uh, connect it to a big one. I think this is definitely the spot where, where the, the big boys are going to be hanging out. Oh, God. It's like all the way around the corner. I'm going to have to get it. Hold on. It's hung up. So I was trolling and I I got hung up around the bend back like there. So that's alright. Kind of a stupid idea. I'm hung up, but still. We might have something on here. I don't know. Feels, what does it doesn't feel? feel like a fish. So I don't think it is. Wait, what? Whoa. It feels like it's tugging. Oh no, I'm just hung up like way over there. <laughs> it started like... I'm on. You got one? Uh, yeah. No way, it's a big one. Yo. There's no way. Wait, hold on. Stay down, stay down. I'll get you that, I got some more. Hey, scoot back. You sure? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely one. Oh. Don't jump, buddy. 
Oh yeah, Wait, he fell, hooked him. Oh shoot, that's why. Not the big one. He's taking a lot of drag. Oh, he's he's not done. In the net. Let's go. He fell, awesome. fell, hooked him. Though. Well, I don't think it was a bad idea. And awesome. It's That's like, another one. It's like I've never hooked one. Look at that. Oh gosh, my fell hooked him. That's obviously not the goal, but I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be not a good pain thing to get out. Just hope he doesn't start That's bleeding. That's so weird. It's like, yeah, what are the chances? It's like he didn't even bite it. I don't, he probably didn't. I just got tangled up with him, but like. Look, he, the line is through his fin. Oh, crap. Hey, look at the line. It's through his fin. Oh, whoa, what? That is so weird. I, 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 oh, it's like in between. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just in <laughs> oh, yeah. How does that happen? He's been above water. Uh, I think he survived for like 15 fires. minutes. Yeah. It's like. There you go. Thanks. There, there we go, go. buddy. Oh boy. Don't hook yourself again, oh, buddy. <laughs> Alright, oh, not, uh, not, not a bad one. Yeah, that's it. That's the best. Alright, hey. let's, let's get back in the water. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna release them the same way? No. That, no, that looks no, no, cool. No. You sure? Yeah. That's pretty, right. pretty good. Alright. Well, Let's get them back in the water. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little bass. Awesome. There he goes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Go, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I got the Texas rig with the split shot, the zoom worm. Hopefully this will I'm touch me pretty good on. Got the Booyah XCS. I'm I'm keeping that on for at least a couple more weeks, and even after that, I'll have one rod. Yeah, I can't wait for spring. Yeah, those giant spinners. I'll have days. one rod rigged up with a white spinner bait. You'll see that, and probably the next video. Um, and the other rod will have this. Except this is mainly an early spring bait. So. If you guys can't decide what bait to use, early spring, this time of year, doesn't even matter what state you're in. If it's more of a large mouth state, like, it'll yeah, still work up in like Maine, Montana, but this red square bill crankbait. Yeah, I think for any little red, <coughs> um, red is probably the best color for winter, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Alrighty, headed back over there. Hoping we can catch a big one. He's real in the room. He's strong. Knowing. Yeah. Alright. About to head Bring under them. the log again. This should be good. We can probably just drift under. Go real slow. This definitely makes up for yesterday. Yeah. Well, yesterday wasn't a bad day. Oh, not at all. Oh. Oh, shoot. Yes, could you notice that? Yeah, the net was standing up here. <laughs> In case you guys were wondering what was going on, it almost snapped. So, we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna push it. Oh, oh no, my rod. Oh, that was kind no. of a cheap rod. Dang it, we're no. like forcing ourselves. 
There was, we thought we were just stuck on something. That, come on. At least you can still use like part of it. Yeah, it, it's a cheap, it's a two piece. All right. It's a cheap rod, but it doesn't make an excuse to buy another fishing rod, so. Dang it, look at this. There's, oh. gosh, that's. Oh, cut off. <coughs> well, I'm going have one more. Yes, this rod is so awesome. It's like the perfect way. You can you can so, still use some of it. Yeah, but it's like it was like the height of the. I could like my hands could stay a decent amount of apart. It was just so easy to cast. All right, let's get the fish in there. Yeah. Well, I'm not even mad though. So I'm gonna have to be mad. He's caught too far. <coughs> yeah. If it was my lose American hero, yeah. this, that would be very sad. Just a, or watch it might fall in. Yeah. $100 off, she said. Something like that, at least. The one that just snapped was about a $30. Come to check us out. So you can cast fire. <laughs> like, scare him away. It sucked to get like hung up on him though. Yeah, don't mess with him. Like, don't even play him. Yeah, I mean. And don't, yeah, don't cast him. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh no. Go, go, go. We moved to this area. This looks like a good place. It's also just one of the only places we haven't fished. So this always looks like a good area. For fishing, it really helps to find uh, places like trees, stumps, docks, or overhanging branches, just anything with shade. Uh, that's where the bass crowd around. So you have to know where they are um, each season and every season they're going to be in places like this so you always have to look out for that uh, I got this white and gray crankbait almost time to leave but I'm just going to throw it around a couple more times here Alrighty, last cast here. Cannon on. Oh. 
All right, this is the last one. <laughs> last cast here. I just want one more. This is the last one for real. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, we caught three fish today, one bluegill on um, the spillway with a fire tiger, clear copper. And, and I caught mine, uh, the first one, it was with the crankbait, and the second one, I, I, I somehow, him yeah, I, I fell hooked him, but like in the middle of the stomach, which is really weird, while I was yeah. trolling. Anyways, so. Thanks for watching this video and remember to trust in the Lord and follow Jesus. Follow 618 Fishing and John B. also.